Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 Bluetooth stack. We can get the uh, ESP32 Bluetooth stack information from the ESP IDF program guide. So here, uh, API reference, click here, and the Bluetooth API. So here we can uh, we will know the ESP IDF support two host stacks. One is uh, BlueJoy, another one is the uh, Limbo Apache Limbo. For the BlueJoy, uh, it support the classic Bluetooth, also BLE. For the Limbo, it only support the BLE. Okay, so. For some case, uh, if we need to use the classic Bluetooth, we have to use the BlueJoy. If we only use the BLE, we can consider use the Limbo uh, because uh, it is less demanding in the in terms of core footprint and the memory. Okay. For the ESP32 Bluetooth stack architecture, uh, we can take a look at this document. Okay, so this document uh, is a kind of old. Uh, it released at this year, uh, 2019, and it's only uh, for the IDF version 2.1 and earlier, but we still can get some important information from this document, okay? So, for example, for the uh, Bluetooth application structure, okay? Basically, the Bluetooth protocol stack, uh, it has two parts. One is a controller stack. Another one is a host stack. The controller stack is here and uh, the host stack is here. For the controller stack, it is including the hardware module. Uh, for example, it's uh, RF module, baseband, link controller, link manager, device manager, HCI, etc. Uh, this is all the hardware module, okay? Related to the hardware interface, oh, okay? The host stack, the host stack is about the application layer, including the profile like the ATT, uh, GATT, uh, GAP, uh, all kinds of profiles, okay? So why the ESP32 uh, divided the Bluetooth stack uh, into two layer, uh, into two layer? One layer related to the hardware, another layer related to the application uh, profile. Because by this way, we can replace application layer. For example, uh, we can use uh, computer, phone, uh, other operation system like Linux, use other application stack Bluetooth, like the uh, Blue Z, uh, through the UR communication interface to control the Bluetooth controller to implement the Bluetooth application. We also can use some tools through the UR to control the con Bluetooth controller to test the ESP32 Bluetooth performance. So we can replace the higher layer. We can replace the higher layer. So for the Limbo, it's just to replace the BlueJoy higher layer. Uh, we can take a look at the uh, information for the Limbo, okay? So this is overview. Click here, okay? For the Limbo, uh, actually, it also provides the host and the controller 
uh, two layer function. But ESP IDF, IDF, ESP IDF, okay, it only it only used the limbo host stack. It only used the limbo host stack. Uh, the controller is still the same. The controller is the still the same. Uh, uh, the same with uh, Blue Joy. So the structure we are like this. So this is the structure. Uh, this is the ESP controller. Is a hardware layer, and this is the limbo host. This is a limbo host. We can get more information from the limbo user guide. Uh, click here. So this is a uh, uh, limbo uh, official website. Is Apache okay? So this is my new. Uh, this one is an operation system. Uh, it's an open source uh, operation system. The limbo is uh, uh, open source Bluetooth low energy stack. Okay. Uh, it is uh, open source Bluetooth on low energy stack. You can download all the source code from here. Uh, you can download all the source code from here. Okay. So this is uh, a brief uh, description about the uh, um, two type of two type of uh, host layer for the uh, ESP32. Next step, let's take a look in the source code folder. Uh, uh, how about the two Bluetooth stack in the source code folder? So in the source code, in the source code, and uh, here, this is uh, SDK version uh, 5.0. Uh, take a look at the framework. Click into the framework folder, and we will see uh, ESP IDF version 5.0, and uh, click the components folder. And here, uh, BT Bluetooth, click this folder. So you will see uh, we have the controller folder and we have the host folder here. Uh, the controller folder uh, match the controller hardware layer. The host folder match the host stack software layer. Take a look at the controller folder first. In the controller folder, you will see uh, uh, some folder related to the uh, chip name. For example, this is uh, ESP32 C3 chip. So this is, uh, we have two names here. This is for the library. Uh, in this folder, uh, click into the folder. We will see uh, this is C3 S3. In the C3, we will have the library uh, for the C3. And uh, in the S3, we have another library file. Uh, we have another library file here. And uh, this is for the library. So here, this folder is the C file. Uh, it's the C function interface to tell us how to call the function in the library. OK, let's open it. Uh, this is the C file. Okay. So, for example, let's take a look at the uh, initial. Uh, so, you will see here, uh, here we have some controller initial and we have some controller enable, uh, disable. So, this is, uh, uh, this is the interface. C file to call the uh, function in the library. Okay, so this is the control layer. This is the control layer. It is related to different chip. Okay, it's very uh, close to the hardware. And uh, let's take a look at the host layer. So this is a host layer. Connect into the folder. Uh, you will see we have the 
blue joy and the limbo here. So inside the blue joy, let's take a look at the folder. We have the folders like this. We also can get some uh, information about the folders in this document, in this uh, Bluetooth architecture uh, document. Let's move it a little bit. Okay, so uh, it will be uh, go down a little bit. So it's here. So, uh, for example, BTA folder, uh, BTA folder. The description for the BTA folder is uh, Bluetooth adaption layer, uh, BTC folder. Uh, this is the BTA folder. This is the BTC folder. BTC folder is for the Bluetooth controller layer. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, device device folder related to the device controller and uh, this is the device folder and also we can take this is the stack this is the stack folder uh, which is here stack folder and uh, this is uh, 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 protocol protocol stack for example the GAP ATT uh, JTT exception. Okay, so we still can get some information uh, from the Bluetooth architecture uh, files. Okay, so this is for the Blue Joy. Let's take a look at the Nimble. Okay, the Nimble. Uh, the Nimble folder is kind of uh, simple. Uh, so here, this is the ESP. Uh, host controller interface layer uh, communicate with our ESP controller layer. This is the Nimble, Nimble uh, host layer source code. Uh, uh, we can click it into the folder. Uh, this is uh, folder, okay? So we can get more information from uh, the Nimble uh, official website. Uh, it's here, okay? It is here, document. So uh, we can get a lot of information from here. Okay, so this is the stack. Uh, this is the two stack into the component folder, into the component folder. Let's take a look at the example folder. Uh, in the example folder, we still have different, we will have the different examples for the two stack into the Bluetooth folder. So here, this is for the Bluetooth uh, BlueJoy. For the BlueJoy, it has uh, uh, BLE, BLE uh, 5.0, classic BLE. In the BLE, we have the um, examples like this. Uh, we have the examples like this. And this is GATT examples, client. GATT server, GATT multiple connection, okay, and this is uh, uh, BLE uh, version five. Uh, this is special for the uh, BLE five point zero. And let's take a look at the classic, classic Bluetooth, classic Bluetooth. This is for audio. Uh, this is for audio. Uh, and and this is for the HID mouse device, uh, HID mouse device. So this is for the, uh, this is for coexist. And this is for the um, uh, Bluetooth, Blue Joy. Let's take a look at the Nimble. Nimble is here. Uh, Nimble's example is like this. Uh, Nimble's example like this. Actually, uh, we also can get some application examples inside the uh, components. Uh, let's take a look. Inside the components, components folder, uh, BT, and uh, host, 
and limbo and uh, in this limbo folder apps okay oh you can see uh we have more uh example call uh, here we have some example code here so um if we needed to create some application based on the limbo we can reference the code here we also can reference the code here of course we can get more information from the official website uh, it will tell us how to uh, uh, use the code uh, in details okay okay so this is uh, a brief uh, introduction for the bluetooth stack for the esp32 okay so this is michael uh, this is for this video see you next time